Hi, this is Chandler with Red Arrow Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Time Compression Expansion Audio Plugin to speed up an audio clip. This tool can also be used to slow down a clip, and I'll mention that later, but our main focus today is speeding one up. So you'll see here we have a little video, a line of dialogue here and here, and a line of voiceover in between. So you'll see in the timeline, the voiceover is a little too long for the space that it's in. I'll go ahead and play it and show you what it sounds like. You can sometimes even know it from across the room. The shop does letterpress printing. This style has been used for hundreds of years. There's been this resurgence of... So that's not going to work. And I don't want to move any of my shots because I like the way the edit moves with the music. Instead, I'm going to speed up the audio clip using the Time Compression Expansion Audio Plugin. So first thing you want to do is go ahead to your Tools drop-down, open up your Audio Suite window. Now, make sure the playhead is parked on the clip that you wish to change and the correct track is turned on. Go to your Audio Suite window, in the drop-down, select Time Compression Expansion. Now you notice this will add a plug-in to your clip. Now go back to your Audio Suite window and click on the Activate Plugin button. This will bring up the plugin menu. There are a number of different parameters that you can change with this effect, but today we'll just be focusing on ratio. This is where you actually decide how much you will compress or expand the time of the clip. It's expressed in a ratio which defaults as one to one, meaning real time. So to speed the clip up, which is what we'll be doing today, we want to make this first number slightly lower. Now if you want to slow it down, you can make the first number slightly higher. So I'm going to go ahead and try 0.85 to 1. You can type it in manually, or you can use the slider. Once you're done, click Render, and then OK. So now you'll see here, if you have your waveforms on, it actually sped up the audio, but it doesn't actually change the length of the clip. So let's go ahead and trim this tail off, which will allow us to move this clip down to better fit the space and provide some breadth on both sides. So now let's listen to it again and see if it sounds better. You can sometimes even know it from across the room. The shop does letterpress printing. This style has been used for hundreds of years. There's been this resurgence of letterpress. Sounds much better. You have some breadth on both sides, slight pause, doesn't run into each other like it used to. So now the final step that I like to do is go ahead and mix down the clip. This keeps someone, like say your audio mixer, from stripping down the effect, which would cause the end of the line to be cut off. So I'll go ahead, mix that down to the track below it, and then override it. And that's pretty much it. This is especially helpful if your show or edit is already locked, but you need to make the VO fit without changing anything else. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If it was helpful to you, like and subscribe. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, go ahead and put them in the comments. If you'd like to check us out on Facebook, we're at Red Arrow Industries, or go to our website at redarrowindustries.com.